Animal Jam's been around for 13 years, so it's bound to happen where they make mistakes. Today we're talking about those mistakes, we're talking about error items that are weirdly interesting. Hope you all enjoy. Alright, classic wise, let's talk about some items that pretty much everyone knows. First off, we have the Magenta Furry Hat, which came out sometime in 2014, and the Magenta one wasn't supposed to be in one of the original colors, because the original colors were supposed to match like winter items that went with the item, and there was never like a full magenta winter set so they replaced it with like the white colored one so those magenta furry hats were only available for a few hours before they were replaced so i would say they count under these air items i'm talking about where it's only been a few hours and then the item gets replaced another item which was oddly replaced was the turquoise ring uh, originally came out with two colors which you call the first and second glitch ring in today's modern animal chain language those both of them got Got replaced with the eight colors we now see in Epic Wonders and it's kind of weird because the new colors while they are turquoise I feel like the original two were more turquoise but uh, by now they're too rare to like be re-released so it's not gonna happen uh, while we're still talking about PC let's talk about the magenta sheep cloak this item was from message in a bottle just like all the other sheep cloaks all of them came from the last message in a bottle episode thing and the thing that made it weird was originally at first after the reset like at uh, 2 a.m eastern time these items sometimes came out magenta which was not normal normally they're all supposed to be white but a few of them like a few thousand became magenta while after that all of them became white afterwards people thought it was just like multiple variants type of thing like because other items from message in a bottle also had multiple variants but this one was only supposed to have the white color because sheeps don't come in magenta I guess but nowadays that I that sheep cloak is worth way more than a normal white one and for a good reason while we're talking about magenta items let's just talk about magenta in general usually magenta just means the item doesn't have a texture it's the default color that is on every single clothing item you could see this with the bubble trons when they first came out all of them were magenta and then eventually they got their colors. The way people got magenta items actually in the game was there was this AGHQ item return system. Originally you could call AGHQ. I believe you might even be able to email them as well, but you had to call AGHQ saying your items were taken and which items, and sometimes they came back glitched and magenta and this was kind of weird because first off that system was being manipulated by many people that probably just like scammed their themselves by their spares and got the items so they turned that off and also the whole magenta item thing became popular because of this that default texture became sort of a cult classic on animal jam and it's popular even today they even acknowledged themselves with some of those wild weekend contests and contest items as well. Items like the black candy cane socks and the mint candy cane horns, for example, used to be much rarer. And the reason why was because they were not available like the other colors through the Jamalde gift calendar. People said they were... But there is kind of an urban legend saying, oh, if you refresh your browser this many times, you might be able to get black candy cane socks. This was, I would say, 99% not true. I haven't seen someone actually get them by that way. The main way that people got it in was like by people hacking in the items, which is, again, not allowed. So they all got like deleted. But eventually people liked these candy cane socks so much that Animal Jim started giving them out for giveaways, like with their Instagram. And then after that, they started just putting him into the Jamal Day in July party and, and released them. Even the black color and even this color of candy cane horns as well. It's not just these items. There's also like a magenta gingerbread hat as well. There are a lot of items that for some reason come in more than eight colors that are in the Jamalda gift calendar. One of my favorite items is the green giant phantom plushie. This is the only one of those giant plushies you see on wishlist this was actually released. All the other ones were not, including the green juice fountain. All those were not released and are just like default textures of these items. But this item came out accidentally when the summer carnival first did in 2017. This was only available for a few hours as well and then got removed. Because we all know that the giant phantom plushie actually came from that juice hut 
playset toys and it never was actually released in the carnival so it wasn't actually supposed to be released in the carnival but this green one was eventually it got a rare tag like the other one because it's the same exact item. It still counts as a giant phantom plushie. And this item I really, really want. I hope I could get my hands on it one day. This That'd be amazing. But yeah, this is like super cool. One of my favorite items that ever exists on Play Wild. While we're talking about default textures, let's talk about the clothing textures. Clothing items that are default come in many different colors. As in many different colors, I mean like mostly three default colors. And those are the colors on this DJ headset right here. The green, red, and blue. These colors are the default textures for most items. And as a result of that, when you see items like this on your wish list that are these green, blue, and red, there is a high chance that that is the default texture that you will never see in the game. The only time that this was actually released by Animal Jam themselves was the DJ heads that I'm wearing right now from the Battle of the Band contest. Any other time, these items were hacked in, so if you ever were owning them, it's a chance that something might happen because of that. It's not like it's guaranteed you're, you're completely safe with this one because this was, a, again, officially released item. Another benefit of these amazing default colored items is, uh, well, you get a little white button thing in the middle that you can't remove. And you also get the crash whenever you um, switch into an animal wearing one of these items. It's super fun. Persian kitties are pretty cute, right? And you see that they're called Pet Persian Kitty here, right? Well, this wasn't actually always the case. So even recently up to after the pet tokens came out, these Persian Kitties used to be just called Persian Kitty. There was no pet in front of the name. And I think that was correct for another item too, like Pet Midnight Kitty or something. It used to be just called Midnight Kitty. But then they changed every single Midnight Kitty's name to Pet Midnight Kitty. They did not do this for the Persian Kitties, however. So there are still token and default colored if you're lucky enough to somehow get a default colored Persian Kitty that's just called Persian Kitty. It's not called Pet Persian Kitty, though whenever you win a Persian Kitty, from the token machine nowadays, it's called Pet Persian Kitty. I hope that didn't confuse you, because that sure was confusing. So, once upon a time, Animal Jam released an item for 450 sapphires. You're like, um, what? And I was too, okay? That was probably the most expensive item at the time. And I think the only item that tops it nowadays is the chalkboard, which is for like 500 in the school party. But the pet beach towel was accidentally released for 450 sapphires instead of gems when it first came out. I don't remember what year, but it came out and it was released for sapphires instead of gems. Some people bought it. I didn't buy it. I know I'm, I'm smart, I think. I'm pretty sure it wouldn't have given a little sapphire tag up on the top anyway, so it's not like I would have needed to buy it. But yeah, uh, <laughs> that was an error that they definitely fixed very quickly. And it's not a good one because, I mean, you, you basically just lost. 450 sapphires let's just be honest they refreshed pack run prizes a few years ago and one of my favorites that ever came out was the black too many pumpkins this item originally it's a glitch it's a glitch let's just be honest here this is a first variant so it's the same thing as this one it counts as the same item over here this is a first variant you earn from 3,000 pumpkins this was the first year that they came out it was black like this it was a one in two chance well, i don't know if it's one in two chance but you could win both of these during that year it wasn't just this one it wasn't just this one so there was a chance to win this full black one and i don't believe they took it out they just they just kept it in for the rest of the month but this was most likely not supposed to actually exist yeah when you look up too many pumpkins now the black one doesn't actually pop up it used to have a little color wheel thingy here that you're able to change between this color and the full black one but because of this, it looks like this it was an error, and it wasn't actually ever supposed to happen. Either way, it's pretty cool because it matches those full black jack-o'-lantern sets that came out in a few years ago. This item is the Frosting Fountain. It was recently given a texture in this update, and before that was only a block. It was just a blank space that you were 
occasionally able to win. It was first available through Rainbow Expeditions, but I don't know if anyone actually won them from the Rainbow Expeditions. It then got put into the Treasure Hunts, which are... They have a lot of different prizes you could win, one of which was a Frosting Fountain. And at that time, it was still just a blank blob. Now that the Frosting Fountain has an actual texture, which is right here, these are what they look like, this item, which people earned beforehand, which didn't have a texture, it just looks pink, like marshmallows or, or cotton candy or something. And this also brings me back to Feral. Uh, one thing in Feral that people loved because it was a glitch were these chivalrous items. These items looked similarly pink to this and were glitched and they came out from some sort of mini game i think twiggle builders back then i'm not the biggest feral expert but this item is similar to that where it didn't have a texture and now does and it's the same solid pink and that's giving me a little bit of ptsd it's kind of funny so yeah if you see one of these i'm not sure what's going to happen there's a high chance that it might stay like this forever but there's also a chance that it might turn into one of those variants so this might be gone uh if you're watching this video in the far future and if you are hello welcome <laughs> i hope you learned something about these error items that you might have not even knew existed this is a pretty cool topic for me to talk about and i'm very fortunate to own a few of these as well it's pretty cool uh if you have any ideas for ones i didn't cover please leave them in the comments because i don't know everything and i probably missed some of them because this game's been out for eight years on play wild and 13 years on classic so i probably did miss something and if you like my content then why not subscribe and with that this is brad stormer storming out